Well, I think the shakeout we'll really see in the next three to six months. Right now, we're still, right now, SDB is probably one of the safest banks on the planet to bank with. They've got all their deposits are, are guaranteed. I think um, one of the things that's really important to talk about, though, is that these regional banks, these banks that you know specialize in certain industries are very important for the base of the U.S. economy, which is understanding their customers. And so the hope is that once this shakes out, that you know these banks that cater to startups and entrepreneurs across the country will be there. And ideally, there'll be more than one. Because one of the things that we did learn is having diversity, having multiple banks for these startups to call upon um, would be would be great. And so for some of these startups who are wondering, you know, should they just sort of gravitate towards some of these big banks or perhaps go to angel investing or something else? What would you tell the startup community about this period that we're in right now? Because obviously, as you said, it's still expecting some of these ramifications to last for at least some foreseeable months. Well, just to clarify, you know, angel investors and banks are very different. The banks weren't, you know, Silicon Valley Bank wasn't, you know, um, traditionally the primary investor in a lot of these companies. They were the banking partner. They held their deposits. Sometimes they lent them money, but they weren't the investors for the most part. They were the primary investors. So angel investors isn't an option. Um, I think that what we've always told our companies and what we told our companies in the heat of the moment was that regardless of the situation, you always want to have three months liquidity minimum at multiple banking institutions, just in case the unthinkable happens. And the unthinkable happened last, you know, in the, in the last 10 days. So that's been our advice. So whether it's regional banks or some of the larger banks, I think you want to have diversity in your asset holdings. And I think that's the answer that you want.